So this is a, my terminology for replacement reserves and TILC. And you're probably again saying, what is that? Well, whenever you're looking at an income property, again, apartment, office, retail, industrial, et cetera, uh, there's underwriting that takes place where the lender is going to look at the gross rents. They're going to take all the operating expenses out, taxes, insurance, and they're going to come up with their net income right here. So you'll get your net income, which is again, rents minus operating expenses. And then what will happen is because a rental property an apartment office retail there's what, what they call replacement reserves where things are going to deteriorate over time so the property is going to eventually need a new roof property is going to eventually need new paving the property is going to need you know all new windows i mean all these things are deteriorating over time plumbing etc that they'll come up with this schedule where these things need to happen over time, and then they'll just parcel it up into little bits uh, over a period of time, and they will underwrite with this additional expense, which isn't an operating expense, it's actually something that's more on the capital improvement side, and they'll include that as a deduction from the net income to get to a true net cash flow because they're just assuming that you're going to have to spend money and set money aside to replace these things that we just mentioned and more. Uh, so that'll be one item. So it could be 15 cents a foot that they might use for a replacement reserve, but the underwriter will do that in many instances, not always, but it's something you need to be aware of to ask when you're talking to a lender, do you take replacement reserves out of the underwriting? The other thing that you're going to see on there is what's called TILC. That's not tender loving care, but it's tenant improvements and leasing commission. So let's say you have a retail center, you got a big tenant in there, and the tenant goes out. So their lease is up and they're gone. Well, you're going to need to re improve the property for a new tenant that comes in. And so that's going to cost money. And then you're going to need to pay leasing commissions to a broker who finds the new tenant. So what they do is they, can, they calculate in there a tenant improvement and leasing commission reserve. So that's the other item they'll take out of the bottom line. Again, this is all based upon you know, the property type, the condition, what tenant it is, et cetera, et cetera. But let's just say they use a dollar a foot as a tenant improvement leasing commission. So they're gonna underwrite that to take off of the net cash flow to get to a true net cash flow based upon the net income minus those reserves. And that's the number they'll use in order to calculate the loan amount that they can get to, okay? So I just want you to remember, those are the two items, replacement reserves, which again, when you're capitalizing the property, when you're doing a new roof, all those things are gonna deteriorate over time. So they're gonna, uh, expect or anticipate that there's dollars that are going to be set aside, and then tenant improvements, leasing commissions, TILC. So those are the terms for TILC and for replacement.